here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Oliveira is one year the elder. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, introducing the challenger, Charles de Brooks Oliveira. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Mekhat Kala, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You see that a lot of times with wrestlers versus grapplers, right? The wrestler gets on top, he's got the strong base and the grappler can't move it. He ends up stuck down there, wasting time. He starts to advance position and get ground All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch for the clinch. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, to see. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, he might have got him with a choke.
lands the ground and pound strike. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Oliveira. Three minutes to go in the round. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Chase the submission finish. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? He gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Tears of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight.